Okay, what's up, Taurus? How's it going? We are jumping into the Patreon money. March 2022, Spirit of Gratitude, do I love online as possible messages for Taurus at this time. Ready of the backdrop of the High Priestess in reverse, the Eight of Cups in the upright, the Nine of the Rods in the reverse here. Something that you could integrate day to day or something that you do uh, feed and water and balance day to day crossroads decision here okay it's almost as if you're trying to choose between you know water in relationships or maintaining your obligations or responsibilities I would say pick your obligations and responsibilities first and foremost okay um, those uh, pay the bills um, as opposed to, you know, relationships are good, but if you're not at that point, then um, of being able to kind of maintain uh, and harness, then, uh, you know, what good are they if they take you off of, uh, you know, being able to establish this kind of solid footing with the Two of Pentacles in the upright? The two and the eight want to add to the ten of cups in the upright. This is a high water mark, Piscean energy, a high kind of point. But again, uh, I'm not getting that the, there's a lot of consistency here. Um, I'm getting that the more you kind of remove yourself from these connections in a healthy way, then you could run, you could really kind of hunker down and harness uh, your strengths. And I don't mean that in a kind of cold, callous, or removed way. I just mean that it's going to uh, um, allow you to kind of get ahead in your work, uh, Taurus, is what I'm seeing here. Because there's a definite kind of crossroads decision here between relationships and uh, your obligations. Don't use relationships as an excuse to put off uh, something good that you're kind of in the midst of harnessing and creating and generating. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? For March Taurus Money 2022. Yes, there is going to be semblances of distractions and illusions and a lot of Ten of Cup energy. A lot of Ten of Cup energy. Remember, Ten of Cups are just high water marks. What you want is the Ten of Pentacles. You could take that to the bank. That's a foundation. That's a legacy. That's a house. That's a car. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like ten, of, like ten of cups are good. Like you could feel a ten of cup. You know, uh, a hobo in an alleyway could feel a ten of cup, but you, you, you can't feel a ten of pentacle. <laughs> so you got the seven of cups in the upright. This is illusion, options, fantasies, choices. Three of cups is celebrating uh, energies. You know, trophies at the end of the day are good. Feedback, uh, affirmation, confirmation, but again, you're always going to kind of be left and settled with your own emotions at the end of the day. So you might as well make that your priority here. You could read them and weep, add it up. You got the 10, you got the king in the reverse. There's a lot of immaturity and emotion. These people aren't on your level um, emotionally. Um, they haven't they haven't mined and, and, and done the, they don't have the resolve that you have uh, from having kind of been able to um, if you're blessed with the gift of being, a, being able to articulate your own emotions and understand your emotions to yourself, I'm not getting that these people are able to do that for you. Um, and you're not able to do that for them. And so hence why you're going to want to drill down more so on the two of pentacles in the upright. Yes, you will have your kind of high points. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, <clears throat> excuse me, the bottom line is that you're building a dynasty and you're building a legacy. Um, for yourself, Taurus, that you could take to the bank. <clears throat> Anything else, spirit, for money, Taurus? Anything else, spirit? So if you are at a crossroads between choosing and doing what you need to do or choosing that person or that relationship, definitely choose what you need to do. That's the lesson. You may have understood that or come across that again in the past, but if you want to kind of channel and tune into the higher reality cycles of the Ten of Pentacles, it's going to come by way of the Nine of Cups. Um, yes, oftentimes those that are kind of with you through the path and through the journey uh, are worthy of being there with you for the Ten of uh, Pentacles. But um, again, unless they're paying your bills or unless, you know, um, 
I shouldn't say paying your bills, but unless they are kind of like actively in the trenches with you and helping to facilitate your success, as opposed to kind of being more so of an emotional liability, then uh, they're really not, uh, you know, uh, supplementing uh, your success uh, in that kind of concrete, tangible way. I'm not saying that you never want to kind of pick up the phone or whatever. When you have time, you'll know when you have time, okay? So, you know, maybe if you're a little bit of a bleeding heart like I am, then you'll want to kind of, you know, put off, you know, uh, having to do what you need to do for that conversation, that phone call. So, but just trust that you'll have windows and gaps of when you're not working and you actually can have a fair uh, and um, a, a fair and a quality exchange with somebody. Okay. Uh, it, it behooves you to kind of, uh, it, you know, wait for those to come around uh, as opposed to uh, having uh, more frequent, uh, lower quality exchanges uh, with people. So, again, more of that kind of value extrade, uh, exchange and uh, trade uh, talk. The Ace of Wands in the upright is new action, is new energy, is new, uh, I want to say insight getting a lot of solar power, power uh, references. We talked about self-generating through meditation, replicating the and harnessing the energy of the sun through meditation, root chakra, ohms, uh, like electrical ohms, raising, uh, amplifying to the crown chakra, um, where the victory is articulated, won and expressed. The emperor in the upright, shout out to the OG emperor in the background as well. Second and third chances, resurrection, putting all the fragments and the pieces together. Very cool. I love to see this Taurus and or Crosswatcher. Uh, feel free to crosswatch all the other uh, videos as well. March, you're gonna fare. You're gonna fare very well. You're gonna fare very well. I think you are embodying this archangel, where people are seeing how well you are faring, and they <laughs> and they are they are amazed and in awe, and it's because you've kind of realized uh, like that self subsisting source. Um, you've gone from like gas to electric. Uh, is what I'm saying here. Um, very cool, very cool, very cool. So definitely give that its due. Uh, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. We're going to hop over to Gemini. Feel free to like, share, follow, comment, leave your sun, moon, rising in the comments. Um, and as always, reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Appreciate your time, Taurus. Light and love to you.